assignment yes, was sir. was given to you in this standard form and was this a slide that was given to you as a home assignment yes no sir no sir no was this a yes, assignment yes you did yes till 3 so how many questions were there three questions three questions three questions that means there was question number 1 okay and question number 2 was given yes sir yes okay and this question was given to you the third one yes i think these three questions were not given and what about question of 4 was it given to you no no sir so, so have you done all three questions yes sir yes sir okay all right now you uh, how many parts are there all together Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen parts. Twenty. Twenty. All right. Now I'm going to show you the answers. Now you have to look into the answers. Uh, the first one answer and put a small tick on. left hand side right okay now can you see the answer is it same as your um, can you just compare my answer with your answer is it same or not who whose answer is coming 9 multiplied by 10 power 2 miss uh, sir mine is coming correct so i got correct so okay that that's good so just uh, put a tick on the left hand side and give yourself one mark out of one and, and what about b part look into the all, all parts which i have revealed and check your answer and you have to be very honest and if you have done with the all correct answers let's say you have done all correct answers so just Put a small tick on the left hand side, okay, and uh, give yourself each question one mark, and according to that, how many marks you are supposed to give yourself in question number one? Yes. If you have done all correct, so how many marks supposed to be given for question number one? Each question carry one mark. Each part carry so each one nine, mark. Nine. So that means, if you have done hundred percent correct, so you have to give yourself nine out of nine, and give yourself a star, a shining star, right? Done. Checked. And, If you have done one of the part wrong, so make a correction, underline it, underline it. For example, a correction by writing this. Okay, this is the correction, and this is how you have to solve. Okay, so but you have to be very honest. Who is not getting nine marks in question number one? And feel free to share, and you have to be very honest. I want so to see your honesty, you. right? Okay, you uh, those who have got jo, those who have got nine out of nine, it's good, mashallah. Keep it up. But those who have, who did not get nine out of nine, 
somehow eight, somehow seven. So how many are getting eight marks? How many are getting seven marks? Is there anyone who is getting seven marks or maybe eight marks? Alina Athar, can you hear me? Alina Athar, can you hear me? Am I audible to Alina Athar? She's present. Let me see. Alina Athar is there. Yes, Alina Athar is there. Alina, can you see? Is your mic is working? Alina, am I audible to you? Alina, you said that you explain again. So let me ask. Let me ask. Just reply in the chat box, Alina. Let, reply in the chat box. Uh, were you present in the last class, Alina? So that is the reason you're just facing a problem. So you just catch the recorded lesson first. If you are unable to catch that lesson, then do contact through WhatsApp and uh, I will try my best to, uh, you know, solve your problem. Okay. So stay relaxed now and make sure you're not going to get absent. Make sure you're not going to get absent unnecessarily, right? If there if uh, you have a genuine reason that is okay but if you do not have a genuine reason so do not get absent so see you'll you'll face difficulty if if you are getting absent unnecessarily right so this is a general general i'm just talk speaking generally right okay now question number two what is the answer of question number two according to you you have done these three what about these three parts Who's these three parts are coming correct? Sir, I got correct. So you will be given how many marks? Three. You put a, put a small tick like this on left hand side and give yourself once again the star. Got it? And now finally moving towards to the last question and here we go just look into the all parts and compare your answer with the answer which has been shown to you and put a small take and if you have done all correct so how many marks i'm supposed to give each carries one mark yes uh, seven Seven. Got it. Who is getting seven marks? Sir, I got seven marks. I got, all right. Now I, got, I got seven marks. You do one thing. Compile all the marks. Seven plus three, ten. Ten plus nine, nineteen. So compile all the marks and write down the total marks 19 out of 19 and send it through chat box but you have to be very honest right if you if you are just lacking in one or two or five parts or four parts please be honest all right i'm having complete trust on you guys so don't break my trust i'm telling you and so me your marks through chat box quickly.
those who are not sending their masks they will be considered they will be considered themselves uh, consider yourself that you have not attempted the test and i'll i'll mark zero simply right i'm telling you it's better to you have to be very honest and send me your marks thank you yes alina uh, yes okay alina you have to send it to me your marks later on right through chat box maybe tomorrow okay don't worry but you fix your try to catch my late record lesson right i hope so you'll you will cover the missed one lecture inshallah right okay alina all right uh, uh now if, make sure you all have sent the marks shall i proceed to the next now okay hijab okay hijab mehreen okay hijab you send it to me your marks after attempting all the questions in your mess right and uh, make a correction according but now the answers are revealed okay what i'm saying that uh, with getting the answers you just write down all the questions at one go and try to attempt yourself and you have to be very honest because uh, i'm not here to see you that how are you attempting but this is uh, you know your honesty your trustworthiness right it's i'm just living on your trust and uh, i hope that you will do it right okay uh, anyways um now shall i proceed to the next yes class i'm really happy to see all of you are just doing a brilliant effort and you're trying your level best to catch up on the things and you are going so great i'm really proud of you guys and i hope so you are enjoying the mathematics classes and now i will show you this slide which is based upon ci questions right and i'll do ci question for you related to indices and standard form and now after this you have to do the next two parts on your own but this time i'm doing the only one part for you or i'll discuss it okay uh, let me share the screen can you see the screen is it visible is the screen visible to you guys yes sir start visible it's visible okay okay all right now can you can you just give a little try to do the first one question like let me highlight the question can you do this one question this one question all right this is considered as home assignment no problem all right you do this question will you be able to do this question can i give you uh 3 minutes or 5 minutes what do you say you want 3 minutes to do this question or 5 minutes sir please zoom in a bit i cannot see the numbers so are you using your android or laptop sir computer okay let me do it
Sir, I can't see the screen now. Well, I'm trying my best to zoom that particular screen as one of my students has requested, right? Just hold on. I'm about to share the screen once again. Just hold on, right? Now I'm going to share the screen and I hope that you will be able to see that question clearly, inshallah, right? Just hold on. Now, can you see the screen clearly? Actually, I have tried my best. Is it visible now? It's a bit better now. Okay. Now, can you just give a little try to do this question? Since this is June 2015, paper one, question number 16, now we are able to do the past paper questions directly, right? So this is the last day of indices in standard form because I'll be switching to the next topic, inshallah, by the next week, uh, by upcoming week. And uh, this is a question that you need to attend right now. And after this, the next two questions are the home assignment, which you have to do using Microsoft Teams. Sir, do we so have to do this session in Google Stu? Uh, sorry. Do we have to do these questions in our journals too? Yes, yes, everything. See, your math journal has to be well maintained as I'm just kept on saying that take the picture, take the picture, take the screenshot. So what is the reason behind it? The reason behind of this is to serve the purpose, to write down, to maintain the lecture notes, to write the questions, to write the examples. So I'm not restricting you guys then you have to do this exercise, that exercise, number of exercise, number of questions maybe 50 questions, 80 questions, four exercise from this page number, this, this, this. Since it's open source for you, you will find it assistant form in the textbook for extra practice, yes, but now you are restricted to follow at least the questions which I'm just reflecting you over the slides, the questions which I used to show you, the questions which I used to say that take the picture, take the screenshot, that is necessary being done in the maths journal, I'm telling you, right? If I could have asked from you to send me all the work which you have done in the maths journal, anytime this, would, this will be said to you, I'm telling you. So be ready for it. And I don't want to listen any excuse for it that, sir, uh, my work is not done or this and that. Right? Am I clear to my instructions? Sir, am I clear to my instructions? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Now, can you just can you do this question? Do this question sir, now. I cannot see the screen. If you unable to see the screen. That means you have to refresh your internet, disconnect your Wi-Fi and connect again. Or if 
still you have a same problem so you have to restart your system restart your android okay because it's clear from my we, side so do we have to buy the past papers yes you have to see you have to purchase a past papers Why can't we use the rove papers app you can you can use that app but see if you have a past papers once you have purchased for uh, the practice purpose this can serve the purpose throughout the upcoming years this year is your class 9 next year inshallah you will be in 10 and, and next year inshallah you will be in grade 11 so you'll excel for, right from the beginning right by doing a couple of questions a lot of questions from past papers right and i'll be showing you the past paper title if it's preferable for you to purchase the topical one because the uh, the work solution even the solution is there for that if you are able to do it i hope that if you are stuck in one of the solution will take the help from take reference from that and then get your so, uh, problem fixed right if it still have a problem so you can this access your teacher any time sir this is the problem i cannot solve this this so uh, teacher will try to rectify it teacher will try to facilitate you guys so simply is that you have to purchase the topical past papers i hope that many of students have a topical past papers with you do you have topical past papers with you at your home no sir uh, can you speak no, a bit sir. louder no you don't have no sir okay okay or right typical past uh, i'm going to show you the topical you that past with you uh, sir, can you please discuss on. the answer of uh, part a stu okay all right i'll i'll discuss if you have done with the part a i am just waiting for your responses first so uh, i'm just giving you chance to do these questions on your own if you have tried and you wanted to see that how have you done so i will solve for you but first of all do let me know what's your answer what's your answer sir it's coming minus 3 okay it's coming according to and what about the answer of b part sir i told you of the b part and c part Okay, can you see the screen? Uh, I'm going to show you the mathematics topical password title page only. Then we'll proceed with the solution. No problem. But first of all, let me show you the past papers. Okay, the title slide of that. So. this
where uh, now can you see the screen can you see the screen yes sir all right it says that uh, yes okay Now, can you see this topical past papers? So, do you have topical past papers at your home? See the the. Uh, you take take the picture of this. Take the picture of this book, and you get this book purchase from bookshop for the practice purpose, and this will serve the purpose of this year, next year, and next year as well. I hope that my guidelines are clear to you. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Have you taken the picture of this? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let me discuss the part. Okay. This one. All right. Now you see it's two power zero. What is the answer of two power zero? Uh, one. And what is the answer of two power cube? Eight. Eight. And your final answer is simply is nine. How many have done correct? Sir, I. Sir, me. Okay. Sir, me. What is the answer of what is the answer of Roman number two? Come on. Can I write like this? Can I write like this? Nine is nothing but one upon one over. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Do you know? Do you know the con? Okay. Yes. So, do you know the concept of writing? Okay. Let me explain you one more thing. Just hold on. What if you are going to write directly one over three square? One over three square whole power one upon two. All right. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Class, am I audible to you? Now, after three power. Sir, the screen is gone. One over three square. One over three square Sir, whole I... power one upon. And after this step, you have to. Sir, your screen is gone. Sorry, can it? What are you saying? Sir, screen is not visible. All right, screen is not visible. Let me let me share reshare again. Uh, due to internet issue, this is happening. I think let me execute again. As you can see, the screen please form me right. Uh, 
there is not there is an internet issue that's the reason okay maybe now it's visible is it visible now yes sir yes class is it visible now yes so i was talking about this square right if i'm going to put a square on this like uh, by putting a bracket let me put the bracket uh, the 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 square bracket right for example let me put, put a round bracket first okay and then a square bracket to represent 1 over 2 because i know that this is this particular 1 upon 9 is nothing but 1 upon 3 square so it's not necessary to write okay uh, and this is also okay let it be square if one is square is there so what is the answer of one is square what is the answer of one is square is one and what is the answer of three is square is nine so that means can i write like this one upon three whole square one upon three whole square and then one upon two so it's quite easy for you to understand one upon three Times two uh, times one upon two. So what is the final answer? Two two being cancelled. Can you tell me what is the final answer? Us quickly. Whose answer is coming? One over three. Whose answer is coming? One over three. Sir, can you please explain again? Yes, sure. Yes. Okay, let me write this question once again for you. Just hold on. Uh, right now, spent here. Okay, will you be able to see this on the screen? The same question. Yes. Okay, so let me solve step wise. You just concentrate. How am I solving? First of all, this can be written as one over three square. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Can I also mention the square? Doesn't make any difference in this because I know that when I am just writing one square, it, it is same as one. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So once if I am writing one square and three square, let's say if I am writing a power m over b power m. So, can I say this thing algebraically? A over b whole power m. Yes, sir. Yes or no? So, yes. keeping in view this example, this keeping in view this example, which I have quoted here for you. So, can I say one upon three, one upon one square? Over three square is one upon three whole square. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. If I'm saying one upon three whole square, so originally, if you just see one upon three whole square, it was this. So originally, it was given one over nine. Whole power one over two. So now this will remain whole power one upon two. Whole power one upon two. Got it? And now, as you know, the power law of indexes. When you have 
this is another example i'm going to quote here a power 2 whole power 3 what is the answer tell me the answer come on guys a raised to the power 6 excellent what is the reason behind because you are multiplying 2 times 3 so keeping in view the power law of index which is nothing but 1 over 3 whole power 2 times 1 over 2 and your final answer is what what is your final answer two to be in cancel this is your final Not answer yeah. yes or no yes now you understand yes. now you understand the concept yes okay now you do one thing take the take the picture of this since today is 4th of september all right take the picture and you also have to take the picture of the slide which i am going to show it to you right now because you have to perform a task now take the picture now you take the picture because i have written the date have you taken the picture yes, yes sir okay all right this is in this is all right let me save in your folder class folder right and i'm going to uh, you know show you the slide and you very quickly you what you have to do you have to take the picture of that slide and you need to take the picture of this slide and get your work done at your home will you be able to see the screen yes or no yes 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 sir yes sir but can you please zoom in which one question you are talking about you you have to do you have to this perform the task at your home these two questions which i am just highlighting right now and you will find in these two question in your notebook class notebook over the microsoft team do you know how to attach the assignment and return back to the teacher through microsoft team do you know the process class do you know the process of attaching the assignment and returning to your teacher using a microsoft team yes or no yes sir okay so you will find the both questions there all right and i'll be posting the both questions all right don't worry i'll zoom in further and you will find and meanwhile you just take the picture for the for your reference purpose take the picture for your reference purpose okay take in the picture have you taken the picture yes sir yes, no? all right so i'm just uh, signing off this time to sign off because uh, we need to start a next class and you have to take the break then and uh, look into the next class and take care of yourself i'll posting you uh, the feedback forms over the whatsapp group and you have to fill in that and acknowledge thank you very much allah hafiz all of you